My name is Madison Rivera, and today we will be dissecting the style of the New Zealand director, Takai Watiti. Takai wrote the screenplay and directed for Jojo Rabbit, so having a film that he not only directed but wrote for is a great way to get into his style. To preface, Jojo Rabbit is about a young boy in Nazi Germany who idolizes Hitler so much that he has him as an imaginary friend, but this all changes when he finds out his mother is hiding a Jewish girl in their walls. I would like to give a content warning. There are images of Nazi symbolism in a clip of bodies hung on a noose. All right, and so let's start. The film opens up on this scene. Adolf? Hmm? I, I don't think I can do this. Russ? Of course you can. Sure, you're a little bit scrawny and a bit unpopular, and you can't tie your shoelaces even though you're 10 years old, but you're still... The bestest, most loyal little Nazi I've ever met. Not to mention the fact you're really good looking. So you're gonna get out there and you're gonna have a great time, okay? Okay. That's the spirit, okay. Hail me, man. Hail Hitler. What? You can hail me better than that. Hail Hitler. No, just throw it away. Don't even think about it. Hail Hitler. No, you're overthinking it. Hail Hitler. Hail Hitler. Who's Hitler? Do you even speak German? Heil Hitler. That's not a Heil. This is a Heil. Heil. Heil Hitler. 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 Ooh, Heil that's Hitler. it. You got Heil it. Heil Hitler. Hitler. Have a great day. Heil, Heil, Heil Hitler. Hitler. You're going to be the best. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. You can do it. Heil Hitler. 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 Heil a comedic take on a gruesome time, but don't think Takai, who actually plays Hitler himself, is making light of a dark time, but instead wants to point out how ridiculous and hypocritical the Nazis were. You can see that in these two scenes. And even though it would appear our country's on the back foot and there really isn't much hope in us winning this war, apparently we're doing just fine. I do want to give a warning and say they will be saying this 31 times in a minute. Hermann Dietz of the Falkenheim Gestapo with me, Herr Muller, Herr Juncker, Herr Klump, and Herr Forsch. May we come in? Thank you so much. Heil Hitler. 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 You know, Freddy Finkel. Heil Hitler. 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 So, did I miss anything? No, no, we were just Heil Hitlering the boy, and then Heil Hitlering yourself, and then, of course, Heil Hitlering Freddy Finkel, and now we're in the midst of a routine inspection. But not all moments in a Watiti film are ironic and comical, which Takai is an expert at balancing heart wrenching emotion with comedy. He does this through foreshadowing. Throughout the film, we see Jojo's mother's shoes always positioned at higher grounds than his head. Between the first shoe shot and the second, this scene happens. Yuck. Look. What did they do? What they could. Creating an order of mother's shoes, showing death, and mother's shoes, we can see what happens next. Sorry, I know, that was hard to watch, but creating a sense of foreshadowing while still keeping the actual act surprising are things Takai does in most of his films, but this mix of layering emotion and comedy portrayed through brilliant shots and colors is Takai's specialty. Shots like this one that show power dynamic through physical comedy, symmetrical and block shots with intriguing colors, and even metaphorical editing. Teka has a visual style that is eye-catching and aesthetically pleasing, but an emotional style that keeps audiences along for the ride. And to close out such a great film in a video essay, 
Thank you, and Please. fuck off, Hitler. <laughs>